only $49.99. And one kilo of greens, frozen mixed vegetables, just $24.99. Don't miss out on unforgettable savings at the home of low prices this Christmas. Only at ShopRite. Lower prices you can trust. Always. This station subscribes to the Namibia Media Code of Conduct and is regulated by the Media Ombudsman, appointed to deal with complaints about media content that breach this code. This includes content that is inaccurate, unfair, or that invade privacy. We encourage aggrieved members of the public to submit complaints to the Media Ombudsman via mediaombudsmannamibia.org. The Media Ombudsman is supported by the Editors Forum of Namibia, advocating for ethical and quality journalism. Explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Netsai and our theme is Namibia. Now let's sanitize our hands before we begin. Rub. Rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now boys and girls, you need to remember to maintain your social distance at all times. Our lesson today is lesson five. It is about direction and handwriting. Let's turn to page 20 of our booklet. Now the instruction on page 20 says, Draw arrows to show which way the animals are looking and then color in the pictures. Now let's go to the board. Let's look at the board. We would like to learn the correct directions as the arrows on the board are demonstrating to us. The first arrow is pointing to the left and that is your left hand side. The second arrow is pointing to the right and that is your right hand side. Your left and your right. The first arrow pointing to the left and the second arrow is pointing to the right. Let's look at the arrows at the bottom of the board. The first arrow is pointing up 
and the second arrow is pointing down. So we have up and down. And we go back to the first one. We have left and right. Remember which way the arrows are facing. Now let's get back to our booklet on page 20. Now we need to draw the arrows to show which way the animals are facing. The first animal is a hippo. Now I would like you to complete the little line at the bottom by putting in the arrow showing which way the hippo is facing. Let's look at the next animal, the lion. In which direction is the lion facing or looking? Now draw the arrow to show where the lion is facing. Let's move over to the second row. In the second row, there is a snake and a lamb. Now draw the arrows to show in which direction the snake is facing and the lamb is facing. Let's look at the bottom of the same page, page 20. Look at the two animals. In which directions are they facing? Now complete the little lines on that page to show the direction in which the two animals are facing. Once you have finished that, I would like you to color in all the pictures as the instruction has been given at the top page of page 20. Once you have done that, let's move over to page 21. On page 21, the instruction reads, color the animals looking to the right. Remember which one is your right hand side. We have Three hands lined up in the first row. Which hand is facing the right hand side? Please color it in as you are instructed to do. Let's look at the next row of animals. We can see there are three cows facing different directions. Which cow is facing the right hand side? Color the one facing the right. Let's look at the next pictures. The next pictures in the third row are the lambs. Now I would like you to find out which animals are facing to the right. Look at the first one, the second one, and the third one. Remember your left hand side and your right hand side will show you the correct directions. Let's look at the last part of page 21, right at the bottom. There are three donkeys lined up in that row. Which one of the three donkeys is facing the right hand side? Now look closely and find the donkeys facing to the right. Once you have finished that activity, I would like us to turn over to page 22. On page 22, the instruction reads, complete without lifting your hand. We have the Namibian flags lined up, so we always start from the top going down. Put your pencil on the dot right at the top of the page and let's trace the dots to connect the dots to the bottom dot. Let's do the same thing with the second flag. We start right from the top dot and trace as neatly as possible as we get to the end of the second dot without lifting your hand. Now continue to finish 
drawing the lines from the top to the bottom, joining the dots. Let's look at the second row. Now we need to trace the handwriting pattern. There is a little boy who wants to get his kite. Now he needs to find the right path to get to the kite. Now let's trace starting from the dot on the left hand side where the little boy is standing. Put your pencil where the arrow is and let's follow the direction as we go up round, back, and forth. We go up, round, down, and back. Up, down, round, and back until we get to where the kite is. Now connect those dots neatly as much as you can with your pencil or your color pencil. Let's look at the last part of page 22. We have two pictures that need to be connected. And where do we start? When we do write our work all the time, we start from the left and we go to the right. Now we need to show the direction of how this boat is going to sail until it reaches the palm tree. Right, let's put our pencil on the first dot and follow the direction of the dotted line. Let's trace as neatly as possible. And the pattern goes like, let's go curly, up, down, curly, up, down, curly, up, and down until we get to the palm tree. This is the end of lesson five. Well done. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Now let's sanitize our hands. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now boys and girls, you need to remember to maintain your social distance at all times. And now it is time for me to invite Zoe to say goodbye. Goodbye, Zoe.
Explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, Lesson 1, Prepositions and Directions. Hello and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining us today. This week our theme is travel. Before we get into today's lesson, I'd like us to please sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is very important so that we can keep the germs away. And when you're done sanitizing, make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything. Also, you must check your social distancing to make sure that you're not touching anyone as well. Our lesson today is about the number 10 and counting. Our first exercise today, please can you turn to page 3. On page 3 you can see that we have a new number we're talking about. It is the number 10. And the number 10 is made up of two digits. The first one is the number 1, and the second one is the number 0. You draw the number 1 exactly the same way, starting from the top, going down. I want you to take your pencil or your finger and draw the number 1 in the air. Well done. Then I'd like you to draw the number 0, and remember it is nice and round. We also have the apples and the dots that you can see on the paper. I'd like you to please count the dots with me. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. They are ten dots. If you counted with me, well done. Good job. Let's try and count the apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are also 10 apples there. I hope you enjoy eating apples. I enjoy eating apples as well. So what you are going to do is you are going to write the number 10 in the boxes. You can see that they've already tried to help you in the first box. And remember, when you're making your number 10, you need to leave a little bit of space between the number 1 and the number 0. After that, you are free to color the apples as in different colors as many times as you'd like. Enjoy yourselves, my children. Let's hope you've been practicing how to count up to 10. I know you can do it, and you should count up to 10 any given chance you have. Let's take a look on our, for our next exercise on page 4. On page 4, you can see that we have different types of transport. Remember, our theme this week is travel. 
and the instruction we've been given is to count the wheels that you can see. I'd like you to look at me now and I'm holding a choo-choo train. You can see that? Very good. So before we get to our exercise, I want us to count the wheels that we can see on the choo-choo train. Let's go. One, two, three, four. So there are four wheels on our choo-choo train. You can see that the wheels are the ones at the bottom that make the choo-choo train move. Let's go to our exercise and try and find how many wheels each of the things that we can see have. The first one is a big truck. And remember, we are only counting the wheels we can see. Let's count the wheels. One, two, three, four, five. I can see five wheels. Can you see five wheels? Well done. I'd like you to write the number five in the box. The rest I'll give you a chance to do by yourselves. Let's move on to page five. On page five, we have a lot of different types of transport. Now remember, our theme this week is travel. So we're going to see a lot of these in our booklet today. The first thing that you can see is a rocket. A rocket that goes up in the sky and to the moon. You are being asked to count all those different uh, types of travel and you must write the number next to the box that you have been given. I would like to encourage you to use your finger first and to look at each thing and count out loud so that you know that your answer is correct. Then when you are done, there is a box there that needs a number. Let's see what number it needs. Let's count the numbers that we can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the number that needs to be in that box is the number 10. I'd like you to also write the number 10. Good job, everyone. Let's now go to page six. On page six, we have another counting exercise. And this one is asking us to count the items in each block. You can see that we have a helicopter. And I know, my children, you love helicopters because every time you see one, you are always saying, helicopter. So I would like you to count the helicopters that you can see. Then you can see another picture that has buses. I'd also like you to count the buses that you can see. Remember, you must first look and use your finger to count and count out loud. The next thing we can see is the aeroplane. That's also another one that you as children love to look at in the sky. The next one is a tractor. But the tractor doesn't go on our roads in town. It goes on the roads in the farm. And then we have an ambulance or am the, the next picture uh, is a picture of many of the ambulance. And the last one is a picture of cars. I'd like you to count all of them and you write the number of items that you can see and you put the number in each block. Remember, when you are done counting, you are free to color each and every one of these items. And make sure that when you color, you stay within the lines. Enjoy yourselves, my dears. I hope you enjoyed our lesson, my dears. And we've come to the end of this lesson for today. Remember, you must sanitize your hands every chance you get. And when you sanitize, make sure that after you've sanitized your hands, that you leave them to dry for a little bit before you touch anything else. 
You must also practice good social distancing by checking beside you and in front of you. Well done. But I wonder, where is our friend today? I don't think I've seen her. <laughs> there she is. Hi, Zoe. So, from Zoe and I, we would like to say goodbye. <laughs>